Paul Friedlander, the 29th of August 1857 in Königsberg, the 4th of September 1923 in Darmstadt, was a German chemist best known for his research on derivates of indigo, for example thioindigo, and isolation of Tyrian purple from Murex brandaris. Topic: Life and work. Paul Friedlander was born as son of Ludwig Friedlander in Königsberg in 1857. The chemist Karl Grabe was a regular guest of his father, thus after finishing the gymnasium, Friedlander studied chemistry in Königsberg in the laboratories of Grabe. Later he studied at the Strasbourg and Munich where he assisted Adolf von Bayer. He received his PhD for the work with Bayer and completed his habilitation in 1883. He left the well-equipped laboratories of Bayer in Munich in 1884 to work in the small company K. Oler in Offenbach. In 1888, he became professor at the University of Karlsruhe. During a visit at his parents in Königsberg, he got engaged and married Martha Koblick. They had three daughters. Although he liked staying in Germany, Friedlander accepted a position at the Technologische Gewerbemuseum in Vienna in 1895. During that time, he discovered the thioindigo. His research on the color variations in substituted indigos yielded numerous patents and was applied in industrial production. Friedlander isolated and analyzed the natural dyestuff of Tyrian purple. He was able to obtain 12,000 murex brandaris from biologists working at the Mediterranean Sea. In a complicated process, he isolated 1.4 grams of pure Tyrian purple. Contrary to his expectations, the compound did not contain sulfur, but was a bromine-substituted indigo, which had been already synthesized back in 1903. Friedlander was awarded the Lieben Prize for this discovery. In 1911, Friedlander abandoned his position in Vienna and joined the University of Darmstadt. The university was not far from the dye factories Chemische Fabrik Kalle, Hoxt and Casella that helped Friedlander in his research on dyes. In 1911, he was awarded the Adolf von Bayer Prize. During World War I, Friedlander worked at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physical Chemistry and Electrochemistry together with Fritz Haber. The poor living standards after the war affected his health, and after a trip in the summer of 1923 from Darmstadt to Biebrich, Friedlander had to stay in a hospital. His health problems gradually deteriorated and on 4 September 1923 he died in Darmstadt. The chemical reaction of two aminobenzaldehydes with ketones to form quinoline derivatives, which Friedlander discovered in 1882, is today known as the Friedlander synthesis. <laughs> 